Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, Lemon Pest is somewhere doing God knows what, and we're back with some more Starfield, and last time we came here to skink to obtain another power. So, let's get into it. Joop. Ah, yes. Fabulous. Let's get out there. Lemon Pest, are you coming? You, you. Concerning little Egypt. In case we run out of oxygen here, but I've been practicing holding my breath. Well, all right. Let's 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 just go. Lemon pest doing me a concern. All right. So what have we got here? We also needed to get titanium, didn't we? I believe. Which, well, we're not going to find here, unfortunately. I don't, adoring fan for crying out loud. Is that our temple? No, that is not our temple. Neither is that. Probably over there somewhere. All right. So what's this nickel? Maybe we get some nickel. We'll have huh. Well, let's 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 have a look at the map. Oh, it's not actually marked. That's a little bit weird. Okay. Um. All right. Well, never mind. Um, so it is this way. Fabulous. Come along, lemon pest. Let us go and oh, it's of course it's visible, and I just missed it completely. <sighs> Honestly, I do worry about my my attention span sometimes. Copper. Let's get the copper. Why not? Okay, enough of this resource gathering for now. We haven't the room anyway at the moment. What's this though? What is this? That's silver, obviously. We've scanned that. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, how do we get in? Are they hop? What? Big hole. Okay. This seems a little, um... Okay. Temple Etta. Etta. Like Etta James. So... Wow, do you know, I thought they were, um, like, rearing horses. What? Oh! Okay, okay, this is not working. Let me pest! To the rescue! What a go okay. Oh, this is no good. Um, can we, can we? Oh god, oh god, why, why? Apparently we didn't even reload. Oh my goodness. Okay, Eddie. Let's, um... Get some space here. Get some, um, okay. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> this is not good. Ah, there we go. Hey, I'll have a bit of that. You, you wretched creature, little filth. You scum. Absolute scum. Ugh, Where the hell did that come from? I've just remembered why none of my um, weapons were being pulled out when I was using my key bindings because I um, did sell off quite a lot of stuff last time that we didn't need or I stored some of it so I'll have a look at that momentarily. Let's reload this bad boy. So we're fully prepped. Put it away and in we go. Okay, here we go. And we're up. Okay, let's do this thing. Aha. There we are. There's one. Two. I think you have to do this about five times if memory serves me. It doesn't tend to all the time. Oh, 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 changed his mind. There we go. Four. One more. Excuse me, lemon pest. We are we are on a mission here. Oh no. Missed it. Oh why does it Where is it now? Over here. Oh there we are.
Okay, let's get another power. Here we go. I hope. Yes. Weapons at the ready. Lemon pestle. Weapons at the ready. Anti gravity field too. Okay. There you go. Have a bit of that. Oh god. Good god. Lemon pest, watch out. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Why? 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 Oh my days. Don't tell me. Oh my god, we've run out of, of, of health? What? Aid. Quick. Quick. Quickly. What can we use here? Um. Hmm. Where are those? 11% health. Oh my god. Okay. We're just going to have to eat and drink. Do the, do the old um, Skyrim trick and just, you know eat ourselves senseless. Okay, yep, yep. I don't know what that just did, that snake oil, but you know what, screw it. Yep. Runner's Rush. Uh, red Trench. Spaghetti. Okay, we're just, we're just taking everything here. Um, let me just have a look, actually. That's why my power wasn't working. Well, God bless it. Hey, we got Supernova 2. Hmm, that might be cool. Alright, I want to... Um, have a look for where is it? Life forced, maybe. Get a bit of that on the go, because I think that will help us immensely in this case. All right. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where are you, dude? All right. All right. You fool. Skin of our teeth, there, folks. Skin of our teeth. Ding. Right, Lemon Pest. We need to return to a settlement and purchase ourselves some um, first aid because, my God. What's that over there? Oh, just more ruins. Ah. All right, let's let's um, let's head back to the ship, I think. What's that? No, 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 no. You're not allowed. Not allowed. Let's go to the ship and get out of here. We need to get some first aid and, and, and fix ourselves up and sell some stuff and... Oh, just do so much. Okay. Just as a little thought. I've just thought of this as I came in. Could we make medkits on here? Are you able to... Do oh, you can make heal paste. Ah. Doesn't really... Mm, doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Well, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's all okay. It doesn't matter. Let's... Um, let's go. Unregistered starship. We're detecting... What? Well, it's what we're not detecting that's an issue. What's powering that thing? Oh, crumbs. You know what? I've just realised we have contraband. Can I? Can I? Can I get out of here? Do you suppose? Can we? Can we disappear quickly? Go to the wolf system. Maybe. Maybe we can. Can we do it? Are we able to escape? Just hold still while we do the contraband check. No, is the answer. No. And we're gone. I wonder if we can get away with that. Oh no, where's, 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 okay. Get to the den, quick, 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 quick. See if we can do this. The world will never know. You know. I didn't realise we'd even picked up any contraband. Thank God. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's um, resolved the issue. Let's let's go back and see, shall we? Aha. Okay. Apparently, we did get a bounty for that, which is kind of poop. But 
Well, at least we didn't get, like, taken in. Oh, we can, we can pay off a bounty. It's only a bounty, isn't it? God. You'll be scanned as you enter the Scan city. away, I don't care. Alright, so we need to go to Jemison Mercantile. No bounty? It says we got no bounty, but hold on. Ah. Isn't it usually... Okay, well, 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 whatever. Whatever. Let's get in Jemison Mercantile. Purchase some, um... Health items, if they have them. Oh, we could go to the medical place as well, actually. It takes a strong Bonjour, madame. If it belongs on your art. ship, then not. Oh, please. Unfortunately, she didn't have any medical kits. But we can go and um, visit the medical place and see if they have anything for us. Ha, ah, here we are. Reliant Medical. Maybe they could fix us up a little bit as well. We're kind of, um, kind of in a bad way. Kind of beaten up. Hello. Oh, there's no receptionist. May I? May I? Um, it's quite the outfit, madam. I do quite like the purple and the pink. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello, doctor. I would like. Welcome to Reliant Medical. If you are injured or sick, we can almost certainly assist you. Yes, I'm. I'm ill. Well, judging by the looks of you, you are in need of some medical attention. We can certainly help. Cool. Um, fix me up, dude. So, what brings you in today? Oh my, it's a good thing you came in to see me. Yeah, All heal right. me up. We'll clean things up and get you back out into the world. There you are, right is rain. Thank you. And uh, I need some medical supplies. Well, you certainly come to the right place. What do you have? What do you have, sir? Ooh, you only have three, though. That's a little pants. Um... Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Well, well. Hmm. May you remain in good health. I hope so, dude. Truly, I. Ooh. Hmm. Nothing else here? No. Ugh. Come along, lemon pest. Okay, do they have a trade authority here? I think they do. It's in the well, isn't it? Yes, it is. In the bloody well. Alright, so how do we get down there? I think we have to go back on the on the shuffle thing. Haha, -ha, we're here! The well. Fabulous. Well, let's see what um uh, hello. What this dude has. Hello there, you see surplus. Well, hey, hmm, interesting little shop. Hello, sir. Happy to make a deal. You need stuff. I need credits. It all works out. Well, that's how shops work generally. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Yeah, all right. Take your time. I got all day. Huh. Well. Hey, take it easy. Yeah, no problem, dude. Um, don't mind me. Just going for a peep. Whoa. You got a whole chunks machine back here? My god. Nothing else. Really, I'm after medical supplies if you... Ooh, okay. Well, that's a bit naughty, but well... You're what? Making things harder for yourself. What? Who? 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 Whatever. Whatever. Oh, here we go. UC security, you're under arrest. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Vessel? What? Uh, you're going to tell me what's going on here? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. What about my ship, dude? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Uh... Well, all right then. Fair enough. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. Okay. You've removed all my goods, I'm man. You, the 
Peter's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Can I help you? Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. <sighs> All right. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. All I did was bring some contraband, and I got rid of it before I landed. Ready, sir. Hello. It's Lemon Pest here. Be careful with him. He's delicate. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Well, you didn't offer me a coffee, for starters. Which is rude. This chair that I'm sat on is pretty hard and uncomfortable. And I'm cold. There you go. <sighs> okay. Um. This doesn't look like a local jail. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears that you have a background in cyber running. Perfect. Information gathering is one of our top priorities around here. Oh, okay. I also see that you've mined on Vectera. Yep. And now you're with Constellation. Yep. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Um, I bet my shoe size isn't in your records. Ha! Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Um. Well, I know you kidnap people. Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. Oh. That convict is where you enter the picture. I mean, I'm not a convict, so lose that. You just pick me up for some contraband, that's all. Um, hmm. If whatever you're selling lets me off the hook, then I'm listening. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can to bring it all down. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Maybe you should give up? That's where you and I differ. As a citizen of the United Colonies, I accept my responsibilities. You, on the other hand, clearly couldn't give a damn. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. I mean, you could do. I am worth a fortune. You do realize this. Um, hmm. <sighs> if I work for Sistef, what's in it for me? Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job. We'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. How hefty are we talking here? Um, hmm. <sighs> Doesn't sound like I've got much of a choice. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favour. So it's not a choice so, then? what do you say? You going to work with me? Or should I find someone else? Eh, uh, hmm. Do I have to decide right now? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Oh, well, okay, then fine. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my oh, men okay. escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. 
I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. <sighs> well, I did. Well, this is a laugh riot, isn't it? Oh, lemon pest! Hey, uh, you're okay. Let's Good. go. Well, all right, lead the way then. So you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's. Where's my role, stuff, huh? man? Is it in there? No, is it in one of these? Where's my stuff? For training a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Yeah, well, that's me Still, all over. Guts, glory, all that jazz. The stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship yes. and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. Uh. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? You know you idiots didn't take my weapons, right? That was really stupid. Pardon. I could just do it. I could just do it right now. Or whatever, okay. Docking ports. I'm assuming my ship is there. Where's my stuff? I want my stuff, man. Everything. Nah. Alright. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Okay. Let's go and meet this dude. What's in there? Peep, peep, peep at the doorway. Oh, hello. I quite like this uniform. Maybe if the arm wasn't blue, if it was also grey like that side, that's not bad. Okay. Sorry, commenting on the fashion. I mean, I'm not exactly massively fashionable, but look at that thick boy. Love it. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. I'm taking that. You're allowing me to take it. I'm taking it. Anything else in here? Hello? Hey, what's in here? What's this? Sysdef crew uniform? Meh. You see cup. Commander's office to... Darling fan. You vaulted that, that desk like a gymnast. Pirate operations. Reports of pirate activity continue to plague the settled systems. While the mission board supply us with the intel, the fleet often changes its targets to keep us guessing. According to Toft's report, there are three types of operations the fleet uses to fill its coffers. Piracy, smuggling, theft. They have honed these operations under their current leadership, and we would do well to study their tactics so that we can better protect the settled systems. Okay, Crimson Fleet Tactics. There is an old saying that to fight the enemy, one must know their enemy. The aphorism, while trite, still holds true today. Like many disorganised groups, the Crimson Fleet uses guerrilla tactics. They utilise the element of surprise to their advantage, grav jumping and quickly striking their targets before fleeing the scene. These are not revelatory tactics. Throughout history, ambush, deception, sabotage and espionage have been the tools smaller groups employed to outmaneuver larger naval forces. Sysdef was formed in order to fight this foe in a non-traditional sense. It is up to the leadership to find creative ways to do that without sacrificing the principles we hold dear. Oh, personal documents. Oh, look at this. Germany Christmas, this dude loves a rant. Resolve and purpose. There are years where nothing happens and years that can define a life. I was 16 when I first took to the skies, 17 when it all came crashing down. It began with a ship. Earlier that year, my father had salvaged a wreck from the war, a B-class Deimos freighter from an abandoned star yard. It was old, outdated, and to put it bluntly, a piece of junk. The controls were shaky, the placing was rusted, and the engine coughed like it had a bad lung. But none of that mattered to me. I was hooked from the very first grav jump. You see... You see, up until that point, I had often struggled to focus. Nothing I did had any long-term appeal. That all changed the moment I took that Deimos Junker out to the space lanes. For the first time in my life, I could see a life for me beyond the present. The ship, for all its loose wires, dents and pockmarks, gave me purpose. Something I could devote my life to. Three months later, I was an escort for my father's freighter. Ten months later, we were attacked by the Crimson Fleet. 
Most days I think about my father, the kind, gentle man who raised me. I think about how much poorer the, this galaxy is without his laughter soaring through its membrane. And other times my thoughts turn to his son, the boy with the star-bright eyes and the future he lost. When I am confronted by this boy, my resolve begins to wane. I want him to forgive me for the man I've become, one consumed by hate and vengeance. I stand wordless as he tugs at the corners of my jacket, tears flowing down his cheeks, begging me to let my anger go. And in that moment, every part of me wants to embrace him and tell him exactly what he needs to hear. I want to tell him I will drop this accursed chase and give him his, f and give his future the chance it deserves. But instead I turn away, I leave him crying, alone in the void of space. But what do he does not realise is that I am doing this for him. I fight the Crimson Fleet for all the fathers and futures lost to a world that never should have been. And when I think of them, my resolve returns and I have purpose once more. Well, you see, the thing is, it, I don't know, having hate and holding grudges, it, it's its a poison that you drink yourself, and then you wonder why you're not well. I don't know. The Crimson Fleet Threat. It's no secret that we've had trouble explaining to the officials at mass the urgency of the Crimson Fleet menace. Despite the fact that they are a disorganised band of pirates, they must be treated as a criminal organisation that poses a threat to the safety of the settled systems. Unfortunately, without intel on the inner workings of the Crimson Fleet, much of this is speculation. We need someone on the inside to help us fill in the blanks. This is why I've requested the records of every prisoner detained by the United Colonies. Surely there is a candidate among them who will shoot our needs. Well, enter the thick boy. State the vigilance. After speaking with Commander Natara, Lieutenant Toft has assured me that Project Sval... Svalin? Okay. has been fully tested by the engineers at SY920 and approved by MAST. If everything goes according to plan, we will begin implementation immediately. When the time comes, this upgrade will be essential for what we have planned. Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting, you know. I wonder what that's all about. So he's, he's like on a personal mission then, to do him in, because they killed his father, I'm guessing, by the looks of it. But, well, like I say... Holding on to hate for years, it, uh, yeah, it's it's the poison that you um, you drink yourself and then you wonder why you're ill. Uh, is there anything else in here? Oh, that's a lot of coffee. See, you had coffee. You could have made me one. I can't believe I get to bloody rude. Really. Oh, lemon pest. Why? All right, candy. Let's um, let's have it out, son. Here we go. Hello. Ah, there you are. Excellent. I know, I'm fabulous. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. Well, I'm not living this here. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Um, hmm. You're going to need more than one ship to eliminate an entire fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, do you know what? Get me in a room with them. I'll talk on it to you. Come on now. Eddie, the thick boy. The boy wonder. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Um, hmm. It doesn't sound like an ironclad plan to me. Well, it's the best we've got. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
You must have quite a bit of confidence in my abilities. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I suppose not. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Uh, I'm guessing it's too late for me to back out of this deal. At this point, whether you like it or not, you're working for me. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. Go for it. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Ooh. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Hmm. I, I, I don't exactly do well following rules and regulations, you know? It's kind of not my thing. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Oh, please feel free. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. I wish I could get out of here, you know. Um No, I think I As think I've, I've yeah. All right. You're toffed, aren't you? Is there anything else yes, over here? You don't got any snacks. I'm feeling snacky. Had an apple and an egg, but it just wasn't enough. God, you boring beggars. Okay. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Um, hmm. Well. So basically, you want me to steal from thieves? Rationalize it however you like. But that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Sounds like I touched a nerve. It's not you. It's the Crimson Fleet. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Um. I've seen my fair share of violence. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement Ooh. for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. Now we're talking. Uh, yes, credits. Now you're speaking my language. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. All right. Okay. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Yeah, I may be uh, morally bankrupt, but I don't plan to be financially so, so. Sorry. Bye, girl. Bye. Yes, what? Nothing. Don't mind me. Just being nosy. I want my stuff, though. I wonder if it's... Oh, uh, maybe. Mm. Right, dude. You don't need to worry about me now. Ooh, okay. So, so, so... Hmm. Can we, can we, can we open this? No. Bottoms, never mind. Let's just have a quick peep around. Ah. That's not good. Howdy. Hello. Can't go in there. Ah, here we go. The key to it all. Oh, Ooh, yes. It's for it's for crafting. I'll take that. Uh, no. Nothing else there. Anything in here? No. Oh, bud. Don't mind me. 
Some of the guards don't take kindly to the prisoners. But we should try to maintain some decorum. Yeah. What's in here? Transfer protocols. Handcuffs and a guard escort are standard when transporting prisoners. Those assigned to maximum security cells may require additional security measures to prevent escape. We should attempt to accommodate prisoner requests within reason. Looser restraints and comfortable seating can be supplied upon request. The United Colonies will typically use mid-sized demo ships for shuttling prisoners to the correctional facility. Brig Protocols. The Vigilance Brig is a high-level confinement facility for captured and pre-trial prisoners charged with piracy. The Brig ensures the security and safe transport of all prisoners to United Colonies Correctional Facilities. Under the guidance of Commander Ikande and ranking officers of the Vigilance, the Brig staff is responsible for maintaining and enforcing these directives. Well, it didn't really tell me anything else. Is there anybody actually in these cells? I've not seen anybody. Hello? Huh. I mean, I thought y'all were supposed to be a prisoner transport ship, but I'm not seeing any prisoners. Yes. Just, don't mind me. These are like, I don't know. They look more like, um, not so much prison cells as, like, I don't know, plastic enclosures that you'd keep, you know, lab rats in. It's weird. All right, come on, um. Lemon Pest, I think we can leave. Take flight on the ship. I hope y'all haven't been on my ship, because I will not be happy if you have. Is it? Is it down here? Ah, here we go. Get aboard! Oh, thank God. Right. <sighs> can I go back to what I was doing now? Good grief. Oh, right, we're back here. Doing what we were supposed to be bloody well doing. I'm so telling you, Bianchi, something's wrong with the boots you sold me. I wear them to the metro. Okay. Suddenly, the shuttle runs late. I buy a cup of coffee and the barista mm. screws up my order. It's like Ooh. I'm walking under ladders with a broken mirror in my pocket. And the only time it happens is when I'm wearing your boots. So? What do you want me to do about it? I want a damn refund. Oh dear. Fine, fine. I'll take the boots back. Just don't tell anyone you bought them from here. Hmm. Look at all these ammo cases. Every single bloody one of them pretty much empty. Alright, don't worry, I'm just looking. You ask me? Happy to make a deal. Uh, the let's see what you got, I dude. Absolutely. Okay, well, um, yeah, I couldn't help over here in the argument. Ugh, oh, right. The boots. I hate to admit it, but she has a point. She's the third customer to return the pair. All for the same reason. Oh, dear. The boots might really be cursed. Damn. Uh, well. That almost sounds supernatural. Spooky. I don't doubt it. Either way, it's bad for business. Hey, you're a pilot, right? Maybe you can do me a favor. Uh -huh. I've heard of a UC station at the far end of the galaxy called the Den. Oh, yeah. You go there and stash these boots in a crate, and I'll give you credits as a compensation. Mm, yeah, why not? Fine. Screw it. You're going to pay. I want to give these blasted boots the boot, if you pardon the expression. All right. Here, I'll have your credits for you when the job is done. Okay. Well, that's 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 fine. You didn't have what I wanted, which is kind of annoying, but never mind. Let's, um... I want to find the... Tra ah! Trade Authority. That is what we are after. Boop! Hello! Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Go and get one. I'm sure that your friend can watch out for you. Hello! If there's something you need, no matter what it is, either I have it, or I can get it. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? 
it's a very strange way to introduce yourself. Perhaps. But I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Uh, okay, I'd like to see what you have for sale. You won't find a better selection or more reasonable prices anywhere. Well, all right. If you need anything else, you know where to find us. I surely do, madam. I sh surely do. All right. Well, she only had one... Um, one medical pack, which is kind of irritating because, uh, well... Well, whoever made that, tell them to get a license from Mass next time. As a track rate, I mean, I, my duty is to inform and advise. I mean, uh, these guards, they, they, they concern me. All right, um, let's go in Kay's house. Get some grub. What's that? Shepherd's pie. Ooh. I do like shepherd's pie. It's nice. More shepherd's pie. Everyone's welcome. Party so melt. To keep your hands What's in yourself? here? Kitchen. Is this an upstairs up here? Oh yeah. Can we can we go in? Aha! Look at this. Hey hey. Is this her apartment? Have oh, I just wandered in here? Oh yeah, I have. Never mind. Let's um let's leave. <laughs> That's just rude. Just rude. All right, lemon pest. Let's let's have a pew here. <sighs> well. We are going to leave it there for today, folks. What a day it's been. Started out by nearly getting killed by another Starborn. Then we got effectively kidnapped by UC Sistef and taken into their employ, would you call it? I don't know. And then um, we got given some lucky boots to get rid of. Wonderful. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.